Now, let's get rid of this, and uh, let's put in, get rid of the cosine, get rid of the uh, secant. Now, let's put in the sine. Remember, that's what the sine looks like. You should just be able to visualize it at some point. You know, it goes through the zero. Let's just compare the sine and cosine again. Um, cosine, it's basically the same graph, except the cosine tops off here at one, and the sine goes through at zero. That's how I remember it. I remember the sine always, you know, from left to right, it goes through the zero on the way up. The cosine starts, you know, it tops off at one, and then starts going down like this. Just kind of visualize that and remember that. All right, let's get rid of the cosine, and let's do... Now, what do you think the... Uh, I'm not going to draw it out for you. Let's just visualize. What do you think the, um, the cosecant is going to look like? This is the sine graph right here, the cosecant. Where do you think the uh, asymptotes are on this one? At 180, good. Where else? At 0, right? At negative 180. Every place that the sine is at 0, the cosecant is going to be undefined. Make sense? All right, where's the thing going to go up? Right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to go up, isn't it, like the um, secant did? Where is it going to do that? Well, at the 90, don't you think? I mean, that, isn't that your gut reaction on this? It'll look pretty much the same thing? Sure. So it should be here, and it'll go up. It'll approach 180, and right here it'll approach 0, and it just goes up like this. This one, it will go where? It'll go down, approaching 180 this way, approaching 360 this way. All right, let's see what it looks like. So here's the inverse of the, which one are we doing? Yeah, the red one. Okay, inverse of the sine. And there it is, just like we thought it would be. All right? And it works the same way. So I don't have to put in all these little points in there. I think that's good enough. Make any sense? <coughs> yes? No? All right. How much time do I have left? I don't know. Where'd it go? Why does it always cover it up? I have about two minutes left. All right, let's do this real quick. I'm just guessing. I can't see my timer. I don't like that. What do I do? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't even know how to pause it. Let's do this. Let's pause it. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Well, we're past 10 minutes, so I have to edit it. Uh, let's do this. Let's do tangent and see the inverse tangent. This is not as bad. It's not as drastic of a change. Um, and I'm not going to put the points in. We're just going to show you because of time. So there's the tangent. We all understand that, correct? At 90 is the asymptote. At negative 90 is the asymptote. Now, I don't know. Gut reaction. What do you think the inverse of the tangent is going to do? Yeah, just flip it. Exactly right. Instead of going, watch, from left to right, it's going up, isn't it? Okay, so I read from ref left to right, it's going up. What do you think it does for the inverse? It goes down, yeah. Check it out. There it goes. All right. Now, it doesn't go through that exact point right there. Look what it does. See, this one went through 0. This one went through 90 because we want to take the inverse. And the asymptotes are different also, aren't they? All right. But it does just kind of flip around, if you want to think of it like that. All right. So let's look at it without the uh, tangent. So that's the cotangent right there. It's the inverse of the tangent. Where are the asymptotes on this one? Um, zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, let's draw them in there. Okay, so this... Uh, okay, that's the asymptote. And where is it over here? 180. Good. So that would be that line right there. Does that make sense? And it hits right in between the two, right there. And how do we know that? Well, if you think of this um, at 90 degrees. What's the tangent at 90 degrees? The ordered pair is 0, 1, right? So what's the tangent at 90 degrees? It's undefined. It's 1 over 0, right? So what about the cotangent? The cotangent of 90 degrees is going to be the inverse of 1 over 0, which is 0 over 1, bang, right there. Make sense? Okay, look at this. Let's come over here. What's the, uh, let's do 0 degrees. Right here, the ordered pair is 1, 0. What's the tangent at zero degrees? Right here, tangent is zero degrees. Zero. It's zero, because it's zero over one. It's the y over the x, the sine over the cosine, right? Are we catching on or not? It doesn't seem like we are sometimes. I don't know, that, that should have been a simple one. The tangent at zero degrees is zero over one, so the tangent is zero. But what about the cotangent? What about the cotangent at zero degrees? It's not zero over one, what is it? It's one over zero, which is? Undefined. No, 1 over 0 is undefined. You can't divide by 0. Okay? So this 
right here is why we put the asymptote at 0 degrees. Same thing with 180. Watch, negative 1, 0. What's the tangent at 180 degrees? It's 0. But what's the cotangent at 180 degrees? It's undefined. That's why the asymptote at 180 degrees. All right. It all goes back to this, doesn't it? That's so important all right, to graph these things. And um, that's, what, that's what you need to learn. All right, we good with that? Okay. I gotta figure out why it covered up that timer. It's not covering up now. What did I do to make it cover up the timer? When I clicked off this, when I went clear the page. Oh, when I moved up the graph. Oh, okay, right, right. So, so like if I did this, oh, when I clicked on it like that, okay, and I went like that kind of thing. Well, I gotta stop doing that then, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, it does? Like, click on this? Oh, goodness. See, if I would have known that. Good call. Now, at least I know how to fix it. All right. Are we okay with this? Does that make sense a little bit? Now, you should be able to finish that last half of the lesson. So I'm not going to give you a new assignment tonight. Uh, all that, those problems with the cosecant and cotangent and um, secant, now you should be able to have a better idea of how to do this. I think, I think we showed it pretty well today. So go back to the YouTube, right? Use it. Please use it. Don't, you know, because I just... I'm feeling bad because um, hardly anybody's using this thing. I barely see any views. And the reason I want to see views is not to make me look good or win a prize or anything. It's because I want you using this, okay? I want you using um, this as a tool so you can figure out what's going on, all right? This is like whatever. I'll have to split. It's the last two. If you just go, you'll see it. It's 13-7, and it'd be, the very, it'd be the last couple. Actually, it might be the last three because I'm going to break this up into two. All right, I'll shut up now.